Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of African Blog Say. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I know. Because we have another guest in the building. <laughs> Introduce yourself, Miss Beautiful. You're giving me African Hello. goddess right now. <laughs> Thank you, guys. My name is Tsunami. Yes. A lot of people know me. Tsunami Je Suis. I'm Ooh. a designer. I'm also like a PR specialist, so I deal with a lot of entertainment, nice. but my passion is fashion. Nice. Wow. And not only that, you also We on can tell. Yes, mm -hmm. of course, definitely. Not only that, you also on um, African Millennials. Yes, on I'm one show. of the African Millennials. How is it going over there? You guys seem to have a lot of fun. It is. Good. Everybody's like super dope. We get, like, it, we're, we're a family now, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we have our banter, like, we have our disagreements and stuff, but at the end of the day, everybody's really dope, everybody's funny, nice. like, they're <laughs> clowns, they're really? crazy, yeah. yo, they're crazy. Behind the scenes, now, right? <laughs> I hear a very, very New York accent. Yeah. As you talk, so is it safe to say you're born and raised in New York? I'm actually not. I'm actually from Benin Republic, so I was born in, I was born and raised there. I guess you could say raised, I came here when I was four. Okay. But okay. I've lived in Harlem ever since, you know, yeah. Harlem. Okay, <laughs> Harlem shake us. Yeah. Because yeah. I hear that accent. Yeah. So back to, back to the show, African Millennials, um, what are some of the, your favorite topics so far on that show? Um, my favorite, the last one, I don't know if I can talk about the, the future ones, but the last episode that dropped about um, Fuck Buddies, mm -hmm, mm. that was one of my favorite episodes. Why? Because, like, I feel like you got to know a lot about certain people. Yeah, like, <laughs> there was some uh, some some things that people said. And I'm like, what? You really think that? Like, are you <laughs> what? Wait, what? Like, who in particular? Francia. Oh. Like, oh. yeah, she had She's me like, rolling. She said we were ma she was married to the guy if they <laughs> if they're having sex and if, if they're they going on dates that they're married. Like, girl, I'm like, what? Girl, you've been in a lot of relationships by yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you want to like, if you are looking like that, but that really shocked me because I'm like, girl. But another thing is, she's also like one of the youngest on the cast. So I oh. feel like that that episode was like really a growing thing. Like afterwards she was like, guys, like you guys really taught me a lot. And I was like, okay, this is great because even though we're having these conversations and she's saying it and it's hilarious, but she's really learning at the end of the day, like, oh like, okay. That's what's my favorite part about African Millennials, which airs every Wednesday at 12 p.m., I believe, yes. is that it really touches on what's going on with the African Millennials of today. As much as the show is funny, it's also very educative. Now, I must ask you the question I ask every millennial. So who is the girl that you're definitely going fabric shopping with? Because I know you love, you know, you're a designer and you're really into fashion. Uh -huh. And who's the one guy that's kind of cute that, like, maybe you wouldn't mind going on a date with him? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have faith in you, Tsunami. I mean, Christia is like my sister. So that's okay. like the person that like, if I had to go anywhere, I would go with her. Like, okay. okay. Um, and in terms of guys, mm -hmm. I'm going to be uh, honest. Like on paper, it's Tayo. Yes. Okay. But personality mm -hmm. wise. You knew that? No, because on paper, Tayo is. Like yeah. he's legit my type. Yeah. Like. But in real life, it's KMS. Mm -hmm. Okay. So wait, wait, wait. Okay. On paper. Yeah, Tayo. yeah. Explain yeah. that. In real life, KMS. Can yeah. you explain <laughs> that just a little bit? Cause Tayo, like Tayo, is handsome. He's educated. He's like good to look at. Then when you start talking to him, it's like, bruh, just shut up. <laughs> Not all the time. Like sometimes it's like, all right, we got it. And like he makes great points and things like that. But sometimes it's just. Too perfect. Yeah, like, floor, and yeah. KMS is himself, and you like you and you can't help but like be attracted to somebody like that. Like, what like, you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what you see is what you get. He's annoying. So and you do can you tell think Tyo is kind of playing the good boy role on TV, or he's being himself? Tyo is a good boy. Tyo is <laughs> just a good boy. Period. Mm. Whether you think it's real or not, that's another situation. Oh, <laughs> okay. But Tyo is a good boy. I've had conversations like. He, he needs to loosen up a little bit. And that's not, it's not like for the show. I'm talking about in, like as a person, I would love to see him loosen up. So I like, 
I kind of like tease him. I think maybe I'm a matchmaker here because I think when we had KMS on, KMS also said that you were his girl crush on the show. Right? True. I think he did, right? He did, he mm. did say something like that. Okay. <laughs> Let's, so, let me, we're going to let that gotta watch. we got to watch more African millennials yes, to see to what's going out. on. Exactly. <laughs> but we are so excited that you're here today yes, because today's topic is, you know, something that we need to talk about. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of people, you know, shy away from that topic. So I'm just going to let you take it away. What are we talking about today? We're talking about Shiloh. There's a rumor that Shiloh is Who's Shiloh. Shiloh is Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt's okay. daughter, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. But there's a rumor that Shiloh is going transgender. She's 11 now, and that's the rumor on ground. That she's going transgender, and I think she's pretty young for that. So mm -hmm. I think it's a decision that has to do with her parents. But it's a rumor, so we're not sure about it. So, so Angelina or Brad Pitt, they've not confirmed this story yet. It's just something that people are based, in, you know, based on the picture. I mean, you could tell right now she's dressed like a, you know, very okay. masculine in this mm -hmm. picture. Mm -hmm. So based on this picture, people are saying maybe she's transitioning so into actually a Actually, there was an interview, and um, Brad Pitt confirmed that Shiloh would like to be called John. Okay. Yeah. So she is more of a tomboy. Mm -hmm. She dresses like a guy. Mm -hmm. She comes out like a guy. She has two other brothers, so we don't know if that's the influence. But mm -hmm. I just feel like she's pretty young. She's 11 right now, and there's a rumor that she's about to transgender Transition. fully. Mm -hmm. To a guy. To a guy. Okay. So what do you guys think about that? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like every girl goes through that tomboy phase. Mm -hmm. Like, and allow it. You know, like, play, wear the pants and do that. But at 11, 11, mm -hmm. like, you can't tell me that you want to be a, a guy. Like, I'm, I understand the whole transgender thing, but I also, I'm also very, like, spiritual like i believe god doesn't make any mistakes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so for for you to be born a woman or a female and to now kind of say like you're basically saying that god put me in the wrong body mm -hmm. so that means he made a mistake no he mm -hmm. didn't make a mistake like but it, it's okay to explore your sexuality because i feel like the the thing about doing things like this at a young age is what if you get 15 16 and you're like, oh, I kind of like guys like mm -hmm. now you've made a decision just because you just like wearing Boy clothes yeah. like, you know, I understand what you're saying. Um, you brought religion into it We'll, we will talk about that, mm -hmm. but I understand what you mean, you know for him for her to be this young and um, You know transitioning if you know she started it's too young. I understand that yeah. part, but um this story um uh, actually started very innocently. I think she was watching Peter Pan, the movie Peter Pan. She was watching Peter Pan, and she liked one of the characters. Mm -hmm. So she wanted to be called Peter or John. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how, most, in most cases, it starts. Mm -hmm. Now, the parents have to be careful when they approach these mm -hmm. issues, like certain issues like this. They have to be careful. When you come at, when you come at it in a very, no, you can't do that. Sometimes it's very innocent to them, but then by you doing that, thinking you corrected them, you put a fear into them. No, and that's know? why well, I said mm -hmm. allow it. Like allow, yes. allow yourself to play and mm -hmm. allow yourself to explore the like you know different things. But just because I say I want to be called John, okay, you call me the John for a week, but then it's Shiloh again. Or like, just I just feel like it's too young to be making yeah. life changing decisions. decisions. I agree with it. Um, my whole family, my big brother, everyone, like, I've always been a tomboy. I still very much so am. Um, jeans are my favorite. Um, for a very long time growing up, I always wore baggy clothes. I used to climb trees. I, I mean, we used to call ourselves three musketeers. It was me, my cousin John, and my cousin Ernesto, and I was the only girl. So I was very much of a tomboy, and my parents allowed me to do it, but, I mean, to change her... I mean, I'm not sure if it's true, allegedly, mm -hmm. but if she really is transitioning, I mean, I'm a parent and I really definitely think it's too young. Because I think, I mean, I think it's safe to say we all found ourselves like majority after 18. So at 11 years old, like, does she really fully understand? I mean, I'm pretty sure she's intelligent. She's the daughter of Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. I'm sure she's gone to the best private schools. But at 11, does, does she really fully understand what that is? I must say, though, I really applaud Angelina and Brad Pitt allowing her to express herself yeah. through her fashion, you know, movies, whatever, you know, she want to do. I really applaud it because children are very smart. Mm -hmm. They, sometimes they could tell. This is how she feels, right? 
like she's growing up, right? And this is how she's full. She, this is how she want to express herself. And I think it's a good thing. Like if she got it at a young age, people don't realize it until Kaylin Jenner when they're sixty and whatever. But she wait. Do you think Kaylin realized the time she decided to transition? But I'm saying she didn't have the confidence enough to do it. But she, this little girl, has the confidence, or you know, she want to express herself. I don't see anything wrong with this, I honestly. Mean, I think. You know, her dressing like a boy, being wanting to be called a boy, mm -hmm. and fully transitioning into a boy, taking hormones, or maybe going through surgical changes. I think those are two completely different things. You know, it's it's okay to express yourself. It's okay to want to be called a boy. It's okay. It's it's everything is okay. But in my opinion, at 11 years old, I wouldn't I wouldn't allow my child to take any hormones. Not at 11. I don't think she's taking hormones. I don't so, think. So. I don't at, know. At what, what age? Doctor, at what, what age do you think it's okay to? make that decision as a person if uh, when that's how you, you feel well lived enough as who you are un that is unbearable i mean like, legally it should be 18 right you can yeah. make your own decision you can vote whatever the case might be so i feel like legally you can be like okay i, I want to do this now. i say when you go to college because i believe that for me and most of my friends at college that's when you really you know, it's the first time you go away from home. It, it's like your first independence in America. Mm -hmm. And that's when you really get to know what the world is like. So I think that that would be a great time to really fully understand yourself. But I have to say, though, society just loves the, the labeling of things. I Listen, back in the days, back in the days, let's take it back when you watch the old movies and whatever the case might be, men used to wear what? Long <laughs> dresses, oh, or whatever what the case mean. might be. Yeah. There were laws where women weren't allowed to wear jeans because yeah. that's that was com um, considered masculine, mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. the case might be. This is a young lady growing up doesn't know that this is for men and this is for women. Yeah, she just won't express that's herself. That's why. That's you know? why I'm like, allow it. Like, yes. express yourself. Do it. Do it, and let. But don't change. Don't start touching, like, or playing with your body because. I've, I've, I, I remember this girl, like, growing up, she was always a tomboy. Mm -hmm. Like, she was, like, she was a dyke. She liked girls. Mm -hmm. Now she's a mom with a man. You know what I mean? But it didn't, she... So she was she probably bi. She was not, probably bi. She wasn't bi at the was time, though. Yeah, but time. she was probably always bi. But maybe and, she and was she just she expressing but, but herself. You, boom. Right. Well, she, she but was it probably wasn't living, until, just living. It wasn't yeah, but until, imagine she would have changed and got a penis and then realized later on, like, oh, wow, I like girls, but now I've already switched into... I mean, I like boys, but now you've, I've already switched into a man. Yeah, but this, uh, this that's different. Listen, gender and sexuality are two different things. Mm -hmm. Who you go to bed with is different from who you wake up as. So we don't we don't have to confuse that. That's true. Right? We don't have to those confuse that. Those are two that. different things. Like really, those are two different things. Yeah, Dykes or whatever the case might be, those are expressions. They want to express themselves by wearing men's clothes and whatever the case might be. It's different from who they want to sleep with. So we should not mix the two together. That's true, but you it's see, it's true, but it does go hand in hand. Like it goes hand in hand. Like because you if. You want to be, like, if I want to, if I decide that I, I want to be a man, like, whether it's, like, whether it's, like, I'm going to be a gay man or straight yeah. man, whatever, mm -hmm. I decide I'm going to be a man, like, there's a lot of things that go into it. And sexuality is part of that thing. It doesn't, it's not, it's not isolated. I don't believe it's isolated. Like, sexuality is one thing and gender is one I thing. I do. And I, I will tell you why. Let's take it back to Caitlyn Jenner. Kaylin Jenner transitioned from a man to a woman, but she's not interested in dating a man, right? She still has feelings for Kris Jenner. She still, you know, much love her, but Kris Jenner doesn't feel comfortable dating a woman because now she is a, a woman, right? Yeah. So if Kris then ends up dating, if Kaylin ends up dating Chris, that means that's a lesbian relationship okay. because Kaylin um, considered herself as a woman, mm -hmm. period. Yeah. So it is an isolated re um, situation. Gender and sexuality is a different thing. I agree. Once, I'm not done. Hold on. Once I transition myself mm -hmm. to be a woman, I'm not considered a man. I'm considered a woman. So every rule that applies to women should apply to me. Okay. You don't understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I can totally agree. It is agree. a complicated thing, but... I, I agree with that. Yeah. And again, allegedly, Shiloh's turning into a transgender. Yeah. Correct me if I'm man. wrong, but a transgender to me means that you're turning into a man. Yes. And an 11-year-old girl, I mean, she's not even reached puberty yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, technically, I don't even think she's gotten her period yet. Mm -hmm. Her boobs are not even all the way out yet. Yeah. So how do you turn her into a man at such a young, tender age? 
All I'm saying is, most of us, again, at 11 years old, do not know who we are as ourselves yet. Okay. It is possible that maybe, even at 25, she would want to be a man. But all I'm saying is, if I was the parent of mm -hmm. her, I would slowly let her grow up, at least let her hit puberty, at least let her get to high school, mm -hmm. before I allow her to fully, I, I will never stop her from wearing men's clothes. Yes. I would never stop her from being called Peter, John, whatever, but I would wait till she's at least in high school before we think of fully trans changing into a man. I'm sure that's what they're gonna do. I'm pretty I sure the article well. said I transgender, so, so I, would just, I would think they were doing I it now. Like, I feel like, to be fair, like I feel like they, if, if, it's uh, it, this is all alleged, but I feel like they will probably try to do it before puberty. Like it will make sense to do it before puberty, before you even start getting the boobs and the butt. Like you know, just to save yourself that weird, um, that weird like time okay. in growing up. But I feel like she needs that time growing mm -hmm. up to mm -hmm. experience all of that to now then realize like even Caitlyn Jenner this let's even go back to Caitlyn Jenner like somebody that's lived a life as a man mm -hmm. and has so had years. children I feel like even then I that one is a little bit more um like you you're sure yeah you know what I mean yeah. you're sure because you've lived and you've, you've done fulfilled. everything as a man and now you're like okay like I want to be this not at 11 when you haven't yes. even lived yet and you don't know anything but you don't in today's society you have to understand that it's really really hard you are doomed if you do and you're doomed if you don't from the pre um, previous conversation that i had with you you said oh kaylin was very selfish to have waited that long before she transitioned and I this is the, so this is the, yeah. a young girl so but this is another example where she knows who she is. This is a feeling. She doesn't know All right. who she is. She Can I ask you a question? Let me ask you a question though. Let, let me ask you a question though. When at, a, at what age did you start having crushes on guys? At what age? Like innocently, you I think, oh, this person remember. is cute. Like, oh, no, that that one. Like Even 15. little kids. Little I was kids. like 15 when it's I started young. liking boys. But it's so different. 15, I some hated people, boys. But some people realize it at a young age. It's the same thing. It's a feeling you have. It's like having trapped in. This is based on conversation I've had with people. It's like getting trapped in a room and you can't get out. This little girl wants to get out. This little girl wants to express herself. She wants to come out and express I mean, herself. I don't know if we but can she's yeah. already expressing herself. You know what I mean? Like there's a you can. That's I, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm not saying yo put her in dresses all day every day. I'm saying allow her to allow her to explore her sexuality. Allow her to wear pants. Whatever. Like just. Allow her that, that freedom, but to then block her from experiencing life as a woman, I think that's doing think her that's a what disservice. Doing. I don't think that's what they're doing. I feel like if 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 this thing is a, whatever this uh, these allegations are, if it's true and you're and she's gonna be going undergoing um, transition transitions to become uh, a boy because she's not a woman yet. To become a boy, I think that's blocking her from the opportunity to become a woman and to see how that feels. Does I, it? It is. Does um, do you know the history of Angelina Jolie, mm -hmm. right? Um, I mean, I think Angelina has always, she's always been different. Yes. From day one, I mean, I remember she used to go out with um, I think Billy Bob Thornton or something like that, and they used to wear each other's blood in a vial on their neck. You know, I thought I thought oh, it was cute. I thought that was unique, but a lot of people also frowned at it. A lot of people looked at it like, oh, weird. You know, um, I feel like she's just always been. Angelina has just always been different, and I just wonder if sometimes being too different can go a little bit too far too because extreme. because as a mom, I have a child. If my son wanted to dress like a girl, I would have no problem with it. I don't, I put him in pink shirts. I don't, I don't stop him from anything. But to publicly have these articles, to publicly talk about, I just think sometimes people want attention so bad, want to be different so right. bad that, So you, you think know, they're doing this for attention? I don't know, but I'm just saying, Angelina has always been that girl that has, like she's, punched people. She's always been... No, I don't think they're doing this for attention at all. I Angelina know, I is like the but, number but one. Parent, she's an A-list celebrity. She okay, doesn't need to do anything parent, for attention. But as a parent, this is an 11-year-old child. Yes. Is this something that you would even want to come out in the news? And I'm just going to use I'm just going to use Beyonce and Jay-Z as an example. Like they protect their family mm -hmm. because as a celebrity, like you already have so much out there like and already this is a very sensitive topic. I mean, 
even if I was Shiloh's parent and I allowed her to wear, I would allow her to wear suits and everything, I wouldn't want this to be out. And as much as, hold on a second, as much as the media puts out things, you really can't, when you're a celebrity, you can control it if you want to. Jay-Z and Beyonce control their media. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt can't control it if you they want control. to. No, they can't. As much as you think you, you can. can control the media, you, you really can. can. You can, okay. everything okay. is paid. We also, um, this is not the only case, we all know that. A lot of kids have been, you know, taken to therapists now for stuff like this. But where I come from, <laughs> which is Africa, Nigeria to be precise, this cannot happen. I mean, there's this Nigerian girl who called me Sahara. I don't know if you guys have heard about, oh, Nigerian guy who transitioned into a girl mm -hmm. and she went through a lot. In fact, I heard she was arrested. She wow. had to leave the country because the first of all, what? That is the BS that I'm talking about because it both it all leads back to what you you brought and about the religion. It's like yes, that's the Sahara. But why would she why would she get arrested though? I don't understand. What is the yeah, what I is think the that's offensive? an extreme like Yeah, I'm just saying, point. but what I'm saying is where I come from in Nigeria, it's not allowed. Mm -hmm. Just like we we had to talk about the gay and all that. Mm -hmm. It's not allowed. It's a okay. culture. Mm -hmm. The country has a right to its own laws and what we can't accept, mm -hmm. right? Because we feel that people who were born mm -hmm. We're not born as a mistake. Mm -hmm. So normally, I don't see any reason why I was born as a boy. If I want to be gay, then I could still be gay as a guy, right? Mm -hmm. Why do I have to go the extreme to go <laughs> transition, get boobs, get ass, get everything? What's the point? And that's the, what Charlie is saying, is that they're two isolated I events. Things. It's different that I'm a girl and I like girls, and I could be a girl and I could feel like, no, I'm not supposed to be a so girl. I could I feel like, like girls, I'm... So if I'm a guy, and I still like Caitlyn Jenner, and I still like girls, why would I go trans transition? Because what, what do I want to express? Because it's not about... Because I want to touch my own boobs, no, so I don't get it. Because it's not <laughs> about... It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> because it's not There's about... There's already boobs there for me to touch, so why do I want it? Because it's not about, for them, right. it's not about that... I wanna, um, I'm changing into a woman so I can sleep with another woman. It's not about that. It's a more of a mental thing, and you will never understand it until you're in that situation. Not only is and it a mental thing. people are in that situation where they feel like, no, I'm not supposed to be a girl. Like, I'm supposed to be a boy. And, because and that's why they not change only into is it a, a boy. Mental thing. Because they, 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 they feel like they're supposed to be men. I mean, I don't know what it feels like to be a man, but it's it's emotional. It's, 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 it's something that happens. Don't you think it has to do with the environment or what they no, expect. No, I don't think you know what, I through this conversation actually I'm gonna actually agree with you with the whole it is isolated. Yeah, it is isolated. It's, very it's, isolated. it's isolated. isolated. But in terms of like I'm torn, right? Because I I get it, like you, I don't, like, I'm not disagreeing with the fact that you want to be a, a woman or whatever the case well, may why? be. I'm disagreeing with the timing of it. And I'm disagreeing with the that way with it's you. being done. Because let's say she grows up and she, you know, at a, at a reasonable I, age, well, she still wants to be this person. Yeah. Then you allow it. I but because Especially with a lot of parents, most of the parents that are probably, other parents that are probably undergoing these things are parents that most likely have money, have the money to like allow these things. And the parents like us that have grown up in a time where we're more open-minded. Mm -hmm. So as soon as we see Johnny and he just likes pink and he likes to play with dolls, like we're gonna rush to like try to- Change his you mentality, know, change not, his- Not even change his mentality to, to cater encourage to that. It. To because, encourage yeah. it. Encourage mm -hmm. it. But there's a way to allow someone to explore without enabling them but allow you, them guys, to become you, you that thing on their own that. you understand what i'm saying yeah, like I do love. like you could be shiloh and you can wear the the um you can wear the just the like suit. peter you can just like peter i can call you peter but if i don't bring up changing turning you into a boy and i just allow you to explore yourself you can make that decision later on yeah. but because i have the money because i'm open-minded i'm free and i, yeah. I understand i want to like push you to so it. So where does parenting, where does, where does grooming come in? Because grooming. what you're trying to tell me now is, as a kid, there's a there's a certain age we get to, and that age has to do with a lot of curiosity. Like six, seven, eight, you want to know everything. Yeah. So you get exposed to what you see on TV, what you see people do, and you want to do it. So are you trying to tell me that everything the kid wants to do at that age, you just lead them on and let no, them do it because no, you don't want to hurt their feelings. Saying. So that's if the boy wants to 
pick a gun because it's these people shooting on TV oh and it picks his daddy's gun. Yeah, but that's exactly what she's saying. See what, you're, no, but listen you're to me. I'm dragging it. I'm please, not dragging please. it because I hate, I hate when people ch people try to use... You said if she wants to wear pink, you get in pink you talk, dress. I have to, I have to come in at some point. Because I hate when people use... You just said picking a gun and shooting somebody. Yeah. That's a bad thing. I mm -hmm. hate when people use situations like people being gay or transi transitioning compared to a bad yeah. thing. What if my gun... Sh you get a gun. No, that's you hurting somebody. Let's move on to this lady. Now you, like, Let's yeah, take a minor. You, you dragged it. You like, dragged it. You dragged it. I need, but, I need but, to but, get this out. Please. Just, Hold on. But he's I'm also to just point. expressing his opinion. Expressing yeah, but, opinion. but I'm but saying it's not a valid. Yeah, but it's not. It's not a good thing when you when you use a bad thing. I understand that. But he did I'm not shouting, but it's not a good thing if you use a bad thing and compare it to somebody's lifestyle. Yeah, but he. I'm giving an example. But listen. The point maybe I'm giving an example. So don't. So that's a valid. Because because point to you, point she was to making a point that if the child has this love for this kind of thing, you shouldn't like get them out of the way. Yeah, but if you help them to learn from it, how what, what is the child gonna learn from it at that age? Yeah, it's not everything you let them learn. Some of them you just have to correct but them. But did you like hold on? Let me before this goes because I feel like you didn't really get my point. Like my thing, my point is there's a way to still allow somebody to test something without giving them. The whole like I know what you're saying. You know I what I mean? That. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, play with you it. But if I'm giving you the, the whole age. if I'm giving you the whole world, like if I'm if I'm just telling you, okay, you wanna be a boy, okay, let's turn yeah, you into a boy. I agree with that because I can't you. Let's talk. Let's talk. If you have if you have a child, right? Mm -hmm. This is what you do. Right? This is what you do. You tell the child, this is bad. This is good. When you steal, it's bad. When you when you kill somebody, it's bad. Don't do that. Don't judge nobody. Mm -hmm. And right. this is what you cheat you teach children. You have to respect people's decision. You know, you have to let people express themselves. However, that's what you, te you teach a child. Right. So that's what Angelina and jo Angelina and Brad Pitt are doing. Then I'm I'm pretty sure they're not injecting the, this little child with hormones or whatever. I hope not. What they are doing, what they are doing, do you know? and what what they are doing is giving the the child a way for him to express himself. And right now, for now, we're seeing it through her outfits. That's what we're seeing. I want to move to this lady though. Let's take a minor decision that you girls make on a daily, on a daily. Even if you're about to change your hairstyle. You see how you think about it. Oh, should I do this braid? Or should I do, you know, a perm? That's what they do. They think about it. They, they, they don't just wake up in the morning and be like, hmm, today's a good day for me to get boobs. That's not what they do. That's not what transgenders but do. But that's exactly it's a battle what we're saying. That, hold on. It's a battle that they fight every day. Mm -hmm. They want to live their true self. Just the way you want to live your true self, wearing your plunging dress and your, your hair wraps. They want to live but their what, true bro, self. But what I, what Charlie, I that's what I'm Charlie, saying. Wait, Charlie. What well, I don't understand what? is that word true self. Like, I mean, I was born a guy, right? Yeah. I could become gay. Finding that I'm more interested in girls, like you said, that's isolated. Yes. So I was born a guy, right? And then I realized that I need boobs, uh, which Why is my true because self. You want, because you which want is to my be a true girl. self, because yeah. my parents made a mistake. I mean, during meiosis, I was supposed to be a girl. So you want to? So, so you go I do am it. Now a god of mine. So go do it. I know better. So go do it. I, Who I am I to tell you what to do with your body? No, I'm just and saying. And what he's saying is that he doesn't think. That, that that's is the okay. true self. He like, thinks that, that you should be your used. true self, is which is who what you were born, born as. as. Who you were born as okay. is your true self. And why self. is that? And, because and he's entitled to his opinion. Exactly. There's no right or what wrong you for were that. Born as what is your true saying, self? Okay. In my what if you want to based on what? What are you basing that on? What you were born as is your true self. Yeah. But what are you basing that on? So I'm basing it on what you were born as. You were born as a guy. You watch TV. You see a lot of girls, and you like how they behave. That's already something influencing your thought process, right? And it, there are so many examples. It could be friends, it could be anything. And when you come of age, you begin to realize that something is happening in your hormones, and you need some boobs. I don't, I don't know how that happens. So it you basing, work in my you're basing head. that you on biology. You basing that on biology. How you were born as a I want not, to understand. Not Please make me understand. You, your true self. What yes. you're saying is, like, what, what you, were you were born, born as is your biology. true self. It's, so biology so don't make me. mistakes. Signs don't make mistakes. That's what so you call that a mistake? No, I'm asking. So which you, I, is a I'm mistake? Just, I'm just asking a question. The one before or the one after? No, I'm asking a question. So signs don't make a Hold mistake. Hold on, like, uh, can I interject? Can yeah. I? Well, it's got nothing so to do with science. No, it's biology. As much, so as much as like, I'm, I'm like I'm spiritual, right? I believe in gender fluidity in a way. Mm -hmm. Like, just because I'm a woman doesn't mean, like. Because, all right, we're born, and then what a woman is supposed to be and what a man is supposed to be is, is now defined by society. Yes. 
Thank you. Why right. Are you yes. it on society? Because that's, that's what, what it is. is. That's what it is. Going, man. That's what it is. Well, yes, well, it does. That's biology. Thank like, you. Imagine just let's imagine us just being born in the Garden of Eden. Yes. Everybody's naked. Yes. Everybody's just us. Like, who if I kill, I'm a hunter. Mm. It doesn't matter if I'm a woman, if I'm a man. I see something flying, I'm hungry, I want to eat it, I'm a hunter. It doesn't matter who who does it. But I'm also a man, a woman, because of the things that I have. You're a man because of the things that you have. But and I love them. It's not until I don't want to change. It's them. not until it's not until we tell all the boys to start hunting yes. and the women to start Thank cooking you. that now you start forming mm. what that's society. Mm -hmm. When it becomes mm -hmm. more than mm -hmm. one of us, mm -hmm. and you guys go off and yeah. go kill and yeah. we stay and we chat yes. and whatever, mm -hmm. it's now okay. So this is what woman is. That's what a man is. Yes. I don't really believe in gender traditional gender roles. Mm -hmm. I believe I can do whatever the hell I want to yes. do because I'm a woman and I can. If I have the capacity to do it, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. But do you know that um, in the Ice Age, um, you, we, we talked about hunting and stuff, right? right. Who, who taught the men that they were supposed to hunt? Like when you study animals in zoology mm -hmm. and you study the animal behavior and you see the female lion is a better hunter and all that, who taught them that? Who? It wasn't the society. Who? It's just... It just, it's just, it's it just comes it's naturally. Instincts. It's instinct. So don't but we base can, everything we both on have society. The yeah, but the thing, the that, that's what she's kill. saying. If you have an instinct, right? Mm. If you have an instinct to, let's say you like dancing, so you, you know, dancing, yeah. and then somebody be like, don't dance like that. That's not how f male, male dances. Mm, that's that's, that's the thing that's that she's instinct. talking yeah, about. Like, that, that that's you're society. Trying to society trying to place. Instincts. Society trying to place you like boys like blue and girls like. So do you know that this same society you're talking about now is the reason for this? Advancement, this technological advancement. I don't think so. In the Ice Age, who had the brains to tell you that you could change? It's still Listen, the same society. This, this it's the same society that's causing all these problems. This feeling. Technological advancement. Sorry. This feeling <laughs> and this mentality or how people feel, mm. they've been going on for years. Believe it or not, for years. Growing up in Africa, Ghana, I've seen it for years. The reason why we're noticing it now is because we have. Um, the the technology or the advance or the surgeons to do this. Mm -hmm. It's been going on for years. That's what I'm saying. It's been going on. Like now, like the media is really shedding lights on it. So that's why like we, we're picking it up. People been feeling this, feeling how they're feeling and stuff like that for years. I just feel like if you act, I just feel like if you, whether you want to like men, whether you want to like women, that's, mm -hmm. that's on you, mm -hmm. right? But I feel like to now go and meet like change your body mm -hmm. to me it's a little bit extreme extreme thank so you. but mm -hmm. thank you. i also feel wait i also feel the same like you can be a man living a straight life and not be your true self mm -hmm. too mm -hmm. that's another point you can you can be yourself and not be your true self because mm -hmm. you can live whatever lie you want to live yes. and not really be happy and vice versa. I just feel like with the body that you're given, do what you can with it. But that's that's very that's judgmental. What I feel. When, when I you say stuff question? like that, that's very judgmental. For you to be like, yeah, you could be like that, but doing that is extreme. Don't like that's but very judgmental. If she goes out and does this, what does that have to do with you? I just want to know. It doesn't have anything to do with so me. It doesn't have anything yeah. to do with me. But then also, you're somebody can somebody people can look at that and be like that they can and do prematurely. It as well. Who's looking at that? Your children are I, looking at that. Anybody. That's the thing. But that's their problem, though. Why are you looking up to? Why are you looking up to no Social anybody? Social media, technology. But that's you what can we see anything. But is it right? I, are we supposed to do that? That's what we're supposed we to do. But we're not supposed to. So we're not supposed to look up to our parents? You look up to your who, whoever is bringing you up. That's what you look up to. Like, I'm sick and tired of people being like, um, let's say Amber Rose. Oh, my kids are looking up to you, so put some clothes on. No, that that's, is, that's, no, that's, that's different. Different. That's or, different. Or that has if, nothing if, to do with if, that. Or, or oh. if she's living her true life or her true self, you're going to be like, oh, so, don't do that because my kids are looking up to you. You can't do that. The question, a question that I want to ask is because I have a transgender friend, a male who turned female. She's my very good friend. Actually, she was at my house last night. And um, she hasn't cut off her, her penis yet, mm -hmm. but she has breast implants. And she contemplated on cutting off her penis. Like, she contemplated about it several times, but she couldn't do it. She was like, mentally, I can't do it. And you know, I've been with her for counseling and stuff like that, and there are a lot of trans transgenders that need counseling. So what I don't understand, now I'm just asking this, I don't have a problem with gay, transgender, is if you believe as a transgender that you're supposed to be a male, I'm a female, and I believe I'm supposed to be a male, 
and I want to cut my breast off, I want to get a, a D-I-C-K, then why do I need counseling on mental health? Thank you! That's the, well, I, I'm just curious. That's my truth. But people, people get counseling. You don't need counseling. That, 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 oh, you've already made the decision. It's my truth. Is, and so this is why do you need somebody to I'm guide you? Can I answer or talk first? you yeah, yeah, answer first? I'm just, I'm, it's just a curious question that I have. Why do you need it? You do need it because, again, we have, soci we have a society mm -hmm. has, that has given us what a man and what a woman mm -hmm. is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So when you choose to go against it, you need to be prepared for what for what um comes with it. I don't know if it's counseling for whether or not because at this point you've decided you know what you want to do. Like you you know yeah, what you go through counseling to prepare yourself. to to, to prepare be a transgender because I I do have a transgender friend. Before you go through the process, you go through like I mean you have a counselor. You 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 have. Like this huge super therapist, a psychiatrist, you see all of those people. Then you do the surgery. After you do the surgery, you continue to see all these people. Um, the government actually will like give you free a place to live, rent, oh, the money. Even does that. They, so yeah. you're saying why? in America so, that so is. So your question is, is if you already go for counseling. So your question is, if you already made up your mind to transition, why do you need counseling? People need counseling for so many different reasons. And there's nothing wrong with counseling. No, focus on this I'm topic. Not Hold on. I am focused on this topic. Yeah. And yes. the, the reason reason why your friend might need counseling is to prepare. I'm not saying my because friend. I mean, when you go there, there's several people there. there. There's a reason why you need counseling. You need you, you have to go to a session if you want to get your boobs done or your butt done. You it's to prepare to go, you. You don't need to no, go no, through no, counseling. counseling. No, no, no. Counseling. It's, it's, it's a session. Bro. I'm just no, saying. No, 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 no. Counseling no, I'm saying is different. Session. You, you, you have go? to watch your words. Yeah. Before you get your breasts done as a female, you're an A cup. You go up to a D cup. You do not need any kind of counseling. <laughs> any kind of counseling is totally different. Based on Bosch's honey, Bosch's a TV show. Hold on. So based on what? Bosch, Bosch is a TV show. We're not going to talk, talk about, about it. It's guys. fake. It's scripted. We're talking about real life. Right, and right, I, have, but, I, ha I have taken at least five female friends to get some type of cosmetic procedure. So based, you don't go through any type of I'll still base, counseling. I'll still base my, my opinion on that. You can't base that. it on Bosch. Bosch I am basing it on you Bosch can't. because it's not scripted. It, it is scripted. It's like, not. It's reality. But but it's like, like, everything like, on TV is not real. It doesn't matter, but it's not real. My point is... You can't base it on Bosch. Is, then you're deceiving the people that I'm are watching us. The people. You are because but, it's false. Yeah, it's not listen, true. Listen. It's fake. I, it's I, I can, hold on. I see the commercials all the time where it says that, you know, even on the trains or whatever, if you want to get this done, there's a session where you go where they tell you this that's is That's not a counseling that's session. But I'm, that's just to go. Counseling. That's just to go was, to see if you want yeah, an A cup or B cup or what I said was they don't they don't just tell you that. They also that is what they tell you. Hold on. Let me finish Unless and then you have let me finish plan. my point and then if you disagree, you tell okay, me. Go ahead. But how how can you disagree with my points when you haven't because, heard it? Because what, what I'm, I'm saying talking is, about psychiatric and mental health and you don't need to go through that to get okay. plastic surgery. You gotta be All proud right. of That's what you fact. want. Right. So you don't need a counselor. That's a fact. No, 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 Charlie. No, but what I'm saying is what I'm saying is the session, right? The base of course they're gonna tell you this is what's gonna happen. And this is this is, you know, might be the um side effects of it. These are okay. all to prepare you. That's this, different. These are done. Hold on. Normal surgery. I will bring it back. I'm going to connect it to what I'm talking about. If you give me a minute. What I'm saying is they tell you this is what is going to happen. The side effect is to prepare you. The point of that is to prepare you for what you're about to do. Okay. The, your new journey. Right? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing about that's how I'm going to connect it to counseling. It's to tell no, you, listen, you're trying different. to do this. You're trying to do this. Why do you want to do this? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you do this, this is what's going to happen. That's Maybe why they're going to counseling is to prepare them for their next journey, and can that's I, all I wanted to I say. Can I come in now? Can I come in now? When you're going through a procedure and all that, right, and you go for that therapy and all, they're telling you the side effects of this, the surgical side effects is different from counseling. Counseling has to do with your mental state. Are you ready for this journey? Mm -hmm. Which is different from your surgical, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. I could go and say I want six packs. Mm -hmm. yeah. What they're gonna tell me about six packs is different yeah. from mm -hmm. saying I want to be a girl. So what I'm saying is. If I want to get six packs, or I want to get six packs rather, the kind of medical advice I'll get is not the same as counseling. Mm -hmm. If I want to change to a girl, I've already made the decision, right? So I'm supposed to be proud of it. 
Why am I going for counselor? Why am I going to meet a counselor to help me walk through the process of that when I've already said I want to do it? Which means I'm not even proud of myself. I'm not confident enough. I don't have enough yeah, confidence. If you say I can't face the society. But if which you say means I'm not like even that, ready for it. If you say like that, it kind of makes people think that, okay, why are they going to counseling? Oh, that means they're not sure. Like, we're putting down yes, counseling. Yes, you don't it's, need it it's because you already thing. made a decision. I'm no, not saying counseling People go to counseling for thing. different reasons. Yeah. But we're talking about people transitioning But if they don't need counseling, If they want to be a boy or a girl, and the next day they're going for counseling, to you know, to make sure the decision is Why right. Why are you going to make sure? There's nothing wrong with that. Since you because said God made a mistake. Okay. Okay. It's God fine. made a mistake. Okay. He made me a, a, so, a guy so who's supposed me, to be a girl. Let, let, let me explain it a little bit more. If you're going to get a six pack, if I have a big stomach and I'm going to get a six pack, I'll go, I'll tell the doctor I want a six pack. He'll the be like, okay, just know that this is how we're going to do the procedure. Blah, blah, blah. Go read on it. Do you want it or not? Cool. That's it's it. You're be, done. This you're is done. the best fit for your body. Yeah, type you're done. Conversation. Now, when I go to the doctor that I want a penis, first of all, if I go to the doctor today that I have a penis and I have $20,000, they're not even going to do that surgery for me tomorrow, even if I have a million dollars. I'm going to have to go through an evaluation to even make sure that I'm mentally ready to get a penis before. So it's, it's two totally different things here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just saying that it's a question that I always wondered. Like, if I agree with people living their truth, I think everybody should live their truth. If I feel like I should be a dog, trust me, I'll be out here on all fours. Exactly. Yeah, and the point, you don't need the, no I point point of you And I wouldn't need, and I wouldn't need, need counselor, any type of counseling. I, 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 I already made I a decision. decision. Charlie, Charlie, but the me, point of you bringing out, out why are they going to counsel baffles my mind? Because if your husband is beating the shit out of you every day, and you contemplating about staying or leaving, and you end up going to counseling, it's like, you Go to counseling to make sure the decision that you you're about to make is the right for if, you. If there's husband, nothing, if, there's nothing you, wrong with if, going if, to if, counseling. If, if you sat there, there's nothing wrong with counseling. Not everybody needs a counselor for that. Not everybody does that. And let your husband beat you for once. Twice, third times, it is something wrong with wrong you with mentally, you. honey. You don't even need a counselor. Ain't no man gonna beat on you one, twice, three times. That ain't never gonna happen. You know what? 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 You 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 know what? You You know what? 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 Going to counseling, there's nothing wrong with that. I never it said there make, was. I no, but you say you ask the question saying that is it why would the ladies not to counseling? Do you know how I look at it? Do you know how I look at it? I'm gonna make an example. Karuchi the other day, it was her season finale for her show. She decided to post a nude picture of herself on Instagram, like half nude in a bikini. People went under it, started saying everything that they thought about it, and then she came out. People are body shaming me, and then she started comparing it to people don't like. Um, natural bodies, people like fake bodies. So now you're shaming fake bodies. You're saying people are body shaming you, but now you're shaming fake bodies. So right there, you're a hypocrite, number one. Number two, if you're confident in yourself, it doesn't matter. I go, I post bikinis, I post strong bikinis, I post all kind of stuff on Instagram, and I don't care. It's times that you've asked me you questions. You've you asked care. me if I've had surgery done. You've asked me those questions, and I answer them, and I don't care. I'm confident in myself. I don't care what anybody has to say about me. You don't need I don't need no mental counseling. I don't need, because I live my truth. This is me. I don't care yeah, if Charlie in, Dior is yeah. okay with it. I don't care if Tsunami is okay with it. I go to sleep every day as Yazzie. I wake up tomorrow as Yazzie, and I'm confident in that. And my whole thing is, I, I don't disagree with transgenders. I think you should live your truth. Live but your I truth. just feel like if you're going to do it, do it and don't care what anyone else has to say about it. Thank don't you. care for society's opinion. And stop don't care if it. people think it's okay or it's not okay. I if I want to be a man, I I'll agree. be no, a man tomorrow. Everything Simple. You, everything you just said, I agree with yeah. you. You like. People don't need counseling because you understand you you understand yeah. going in. But my point that I was trying to make is there's nothing also wrong with people also going for counseling to make that decision. Other other you people don't need it. Other people don't need it, and that's okay. great. You figure it out. But other people also need help figuring it out, and that's all I wanted to say. All right. Okay. You know, my so we shouldn't thing, put one okay, down. Okay. And, okay. My know. other point. One point I'm gonna make is the whole like you asked me what does what does someone like Sahara mm. like what does that have to do with me yes. and. I feel like just as just like you can watch a show like Botched mm -hmm. and be deceived and think that that's how it is. Yeah. You can look at somebody like that and think that it's easy and think that life is easy because this person is doing it and it's and, do it. and it's you know, oh that's not bad, but you don't understand the 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 Effects thought process and the like mm -hmm. the weight of what something just doing something like that yeah. means so th like my thing with my thing another thing with me and trans like genders and things like that is like they obviously they believe that they were um truly 
Born in the wrong Born body. in the wrong. Mm-hmm. So let's say Shiloh would be like, I'm I'm supposed to be a man. Mm-hmm. And I disagree with the fact that you're just going to live your life and just be a man. And you're never going to tell, you're never going to talk about your past because it's a part of who you are. You're not going to, no boy is going to come try to chat to me and, be, and, and as a man and not going to tell me you're a woman. I don't care. I don't care when you decided to turn into that woman. That you were a woman mm-hmm. before. So mm-hmm. I need now to you're, know. I need to know that. Exactly. So even changing yourself, it doesn't. It's never gonna. You're never gonna hide, get off it. or you're never gonna get away from who you were before. As mu- I don't care. You can spend all the money you want. You can look like a bad B. Like you can look like the baddest chick in the world. You're still. You were still a man. You know what I mean? Like, and you can't ever hide from that because if you don't, you're lying. Enough, Even though, though you believe you were born into, like you were supposed to be this person, it does. It never takes away from the fact that you were this person to Before. begin with. So that's my thing. It's like I'm not. It's not because like I disagree. I think it's such a bad thing. It's also I feel like. Are you really sure that you want to become this person? Even though that want the first point A is never gonna go away. Like, is it really worth it to live your life as B, knowing that that A will never go away, no matter how good you look? It's a difficult thing, and I feel I, it's more of me feeling for transgender people mm-hmm. than like, oh, I don't like them or this and that. It's a it's a difficult yeah. thing, and I want you like I rather you do it when you're so frustrated being that person and you you're like you understand that the decision that you're making mm-hmm. and it's so much it's so worth it to be a i mean to be b than mm-hmm. a i don't think it's you should do it when it's easy to be this b like i don't know if you guys understand what i'm talking I about understand what you're saying. With yeah you. like you, know, you have to be so uncomfortable um, in your I think skin two weeks ago there was a rapper that said that if um if i have sex with a girl and after that in the morning i find out she's transgender i'm gonna kill her but you see what I disagree. I I agree with you, but I disagree. If if I was a if I'm Yazi, I'm a girl. I was born a girl. Mm-hmm. Now if I turn into a man, right, and I met you at the club, mm-hmm. and you wanted to come home and have sex with me, I honestly, honestly don't think I have to tell you that I used to be a girl. Do you know what? why? No, I don't think so. Why? Because at the moment that I met her. I'm a full-blown man. Why am I telling you? Now, hold on a second. Now, if we're in a relationship... I have a right to know. Hold on a second. Yo, no, you, you don't. don't see yes, me. I do. Ah, let, let me finish. You're going to tell me. Let's you're going to tell me. No, you just want to smash. Fraud. You see, and that's the problem. You're seeing me, and you're just... You don't know me. You're just seeing me, and you're like, oh, that's a sexy man. Yo, look at his six-pack. Yo, my God. Yo, he's so hot. Yo, yo, yo I want to I see what that D like, yo. I want to jump on that D. Mm-hmm. That's what you're thinking in your head. You only like me because of what you see. Mm-hmm. So we going to go home. I'm going to give you the prosthetic. I don't have to tell you. You don't, I have, don't to? have to tell you. Now, if I may, why? Wait, why? hold why? on a why? second. Hold on a second. I deserve to know. Hold even on. if it's a one-night stand. No. no, you do not. I should If that know. was the case, then for a one-night stand, mm. we should both have our STD test no, for no, each no, no, other. No. Yes, Listen it's to the me. thing. Listen it's to me. Thing. Can I make a You're point? You're not worried up. You want to know if I'm a man or a woman, but you don't care if I have AIDS? That goes to show how Wait, low. Wait, we're using condoms. Who said we're going to do it clean? So what, what, what about heads? What about heads? What Listen. if the condom Listen. pops off? But let me finish my thought. We let you finish your thought. Let me finish my thought. I don't have to tell you okay. if it's a one night stand. All right. We go on date one. We go on date two. Mm-hmm. We go on date three. Mm-hmm. Now we're really hitting the doors. This might lead into something. I was being dang. Hold on, no, hold on. Dang. Hold on a second. Yeah, but da da dang. Mm-hmm. We done but da dang step yeah, one. Yeah, we done but da dang step two. And we done but da dang step three. And but then? hold on a second. Now we see that this might be going somewhere. Nah. Hold on a second. That's no. what you're gonna yeah. tell me? No, I'm yeah. sorry. Because hold on a second. Because I'm now we can be in a relationship. Now we can be in a relationship. Do you in the face if anybody ever tries to do So let me tell you what something. I'll shoot you. Ah, uh, you shoot For me. You don't already had sex with a man. It don't matter. Uh, now consider okay, gay. Okay, listen now. Can I make a point? Can I? Can, can I make I, a point? Can after I, you? Can I consider gay? Charlie, the transition was on one. Can I make a point? Can I make a point? Can I make a point? I haven't said anything in a while. Make your point. I meet you in the club. Okay, this time you said girl. Okay, I meet you. You're a sexy girl. You were a guy. You mean, look at you now. I want to have sex with you, right? Okay, what happens to... These days, you meet a girl, and she's like, oh, sorry, I have a boyfriend. And then you hear that, but still you want to smash, right? Mm-hmm. So she has given you the opportunity to decide if you want to disturb her or not. And you're like, well, it doesn't matter. I still want you anyways. So why can't you say, 
I'm trans. Because that is because that is none me? of your business. It is it my is business. None of your business. It is absolutely none what? of your business. Because when you met me, I was a girl. I have it, a vagina. Right, I, I have breasts. Can I say something? Can I say something? Because bro. the one I stand. Can I say something? Please? You should tell me. Right. No, you don't need to. Can I say something? Please? Go ahead, Charlie. Say the one I stand is different from the commitment. Like, yeah. If it's leading somewhere. You both need to tell each other everything. everything. Well, let's go back Which to means you don't even hold have on. confidence let's in yourself. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not done. Please. Yourself. Can I say yeah, something? Please. If you a guy and mm -hmm. you see a beautiful woman walking by pass and you holler at the at the woman, there was a reason why you hollered at that woman. Yeah. You was attracted to him physically. Something he didn't she, she didn't force you. Yeah. She didn't force you to 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 holler at her. So Something where, where in you prompted you. Right. So you were attracted to that person walking by. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, she's walking. Can I take you home? She's like, sure, I'm down for what you're down. Because in her mind, she don't need to tell you Jack. Because she's living her life as a woman. Right? No. So she don't need to she don't need to tell you nothing. Okay. So she's not you supposed saw to tell how me. she was. It, it, you, yeah. saw, you saw how she was and Aww. you approached her. You decided to call her. So it's on you. So when you go home and you find out that the Nunu is a nana, that's your issue you need to deal with. You need to go back home and face that mirror and was like, wow, why didn't why there was why did I call that? So lady? she's not yeah. supposed to tell me. I'm supposed she to figure that out owe myself. You anything. Yeah. If that's the case, she didn't wow. ask you your yeah. problem. If she didn't ask case, you your issues. If that's the case, then before we have a one night stand, we need to give each other everybody's history. Yes. Yeah. Um, she don't I, I, I had arthritis. Oh, come on now. My Your mom is yeah. a whole lot of things. Right. Yeah. I'm not gonna ask you what do you do for I've a living. Heard enough, yeah. When, who do you work with? You got that's your sexuality. Well, no, you, but that's the reason that. why you Yo, shouldn't be wait, having hold on. sex with people. You don't know. Hold on. Hold on. First of all, you said you said you're gonna have sex with the person for three times before you tell them that. Let's do the one night. Let's do the one night only. Let's do the one time. All right. Let's do the one night stand. Right. One, for me, that wouldn't even happen, right? <laughs> let's put that out there. Yeah, me neither. But that's why I would never have night, sex with a tranny, see, with a let's transgender. See, let's see. What did you say? I said that's why it would never happen to me that I would end up sleeping with a transgender because, because I've never I've that. never had a one night stand. I've no, never no, no, no. met somebody and had sex about, with them about before. No, one night stand. You never. talked about dates one, day about two, day yeah. three. So forget I, about one night yeah, stand. And that's what I'm saying. Every man that I've ever had. So are you going to ask? Every, every guy. Let me finish mine. Every man that I have ever slept with, yeah. I have known him very, very well before I slept with them. Every single one. She asked Never. Like, I always give time. Questions. Never. So do you I've, ask I've them? had boys stop dating me because I didn't want to give it up. Yeah, I'm not just going to give it up to you. I got to know what I'm dealing with. But I got to know what you come with. But yes, yeah, you but yes. Know. I nah, you would know. But yes, there's no, like, yo, you as know. soon as you, as soon as you think you like me, as soon as you know that I like you, you need to tell me what's up. Yeah, but that's like, what I'm saying. It's, it's when we realize that this is going somewhere. somewhere. I don't so have to tell, tell you when we're just matching. Three three times. Times. So we don't have time to do all that because when we horny and we get in bed, we it's pa it's on and popping. So now you want to ask okay. me wait, my wait, history wait. and hold everything on, like on, that? The one night, okay. Do you Let's, know, do you know wait, that there's a big chance that you've had sex with a bisexual man before? Yeah. They're not going to no. All right. Sorry. So, all right. Stage women. Wait. Hold on, hold on. Let me make After my point. Let me make my point. Let me make my point. Let me make my point. My head is cut up. If, if, if it's like on some all you smashing situation, like if you meet somebody and you just hitting it off and you just want to smash all that stuff, that's your situation. That's your problem because mm -hmm. anything can happen. It could. Yes. It, you can have sex with a girl and she has HIV. Whatever. That's your problem. Mm -hmm. That's your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. However, if I'm taking you out on dates, I'm getting to know you. You have to tell me what's up. I don't. They, that should be an unspoken rule. You gotta tell me what's up because then you're deceiving me. You're a fraud. No. You're, not you're proud a fraud. Of yourself. Because you're, you're, like, you're a fraud because I I'm thinking that I'm no. I'm with this person and this, you're not that person. You're, yeah. you're not that when, person. Because when you're in a you're relationship, a what do you do? When you live, but in the you're supposed to open up to me. You're supposed to tell me what you do. But with Charlie, that you go on day one with somebody, you tell them everything about yourself. You don't have to tell them. Transgender is not everything. It's important. It's very important. That's who you are. It's an important no, part of the no. story. Transgender is not everything about yourself. It's important. It's number one. No, That's why, listen, listen. So there are some dating sites. I won't lie. I go on them. We have Tinder and all of that. You see pretty girl. You see their story. They even write it. I'm yeah. trans. Because she wants you to make a decision with your head. I understand that is how that. it's supposed no, to be. I understand that. You're supposed to tell it's me. It's not supposed to be anything. You can't they, be hiding it. There are some people that want to tell you, great. 
And there are some people, they don't feel comfortable here because society would judge well, them. Oh, they don't know you guys. Society, oh, really? And they don't have you, oh, really? don't have you tell me. I'm not going to tell you. If you I can't sue, you, honey. If I have rights, it'll, you can no, sue. They didn't rape you. You can sue. Only in a relationship. Only in a relationship. I'm suing you if the person deceived you into engagement or marriage. In a relationship, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking, I can't talk about, I can't talk about one night stands because that's not, that's not, that wouldn't be the situation Yeah, let's not talk about one night stands. You go on a date with someone like one, two, three times and you're like, so what's your story? And he tells you everything. I'm this, I'm that, I'm that, I'm that. And then you keep that part about you being trans two years ago. And you tell me other things. I'm a lawyer, I this, I that, I that. And then we start having sex. Mm -hmm. And then later, I don't know how it comes out. I find out. So I don't have a right to know. Are you telling me that from the first day? Forget about one night stand. I don't have a right to know. Like you shouldn't tell me your story. I don't know where you guys are coming from. And can from, I answer right? that question I for you? Understand. Because most transgender people consider themselves as what they are at that moment. So there's no need. So all if you, you hollered at me when I was a and girl. And all things shall become new. If you hollered at me <laughs> as a girl and I'm a girl walking, you called me. You, you, you wanted me, right? So at that moment, that's me. You, you wanted me. So I came as I, I am, right? So the, the, if they tell you, great. Especially, like, to me personally, Personally, I feel like you have to tell your partner personally. First especially. Thing. Thank you. That's just what I want to get out of you. But that's not it. the first thing. First I don't day. owe it. That's I, it. It's different. Not the first day, but if it's going somewhere, like Janet, Janet, um, one trans Janet, um, her name is Janet. She told her husband when they were dating for three months, and now they married for over seven, ten years, whatever the case might be. But I'm saying if it's going somewhere and there's a commitment to it, people's heart are involved, it would be nice for you to tell me. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Right. That's what I'm, That's saying. What I'm saying. No, but on the first if, day, if it happened to you, I don't think you like this. Allow me to make the decision to move on. Exactly. Uh, no, just no, allow I'll, me I'll to make, make the decision, decision to move on. Like, like on, on the you, first date, you could get on the first but date, just I don't even get that personal on the first date. Yeah. It would be stupid to get personal you know? on the first on the first date. You just want to see they have chemistry. Okay, okay, okay maybe not date, a third date. Second date. Not a third Yeah, but it takes a while for you to like, okay, sometimes you meet a guy first date, you like, nah you know, kick him to the curb. But sometimes first date you be like, Okay, let's see. Second date you see, okay, maybe it's going on fine. I'm Third date, I just do a number in there because for me, it takes up to the third date for me to know that I'm really interested in you. This is gonna go somewhere. My point is, when I go with, on a date with a guy for the first date and I tell him, yeah, I have a son and I'm 27, whatever, I'm ready to get married. That guy will like most guys will run because that's too much information to digest on a first date. And that's how I look at telling somebody that I'm transgender. It's too much information. I don't have to tell you. It's not necessary because first date, you might not even want to go back out with me again. Second date, okay, maybe. It, there's no limit to the date, but it's when you notice that this is not just going to be date. This is just going to be, this is going to be a relationship. I have someone that I've been going on dates with for a year. We've never slept together. We're not in a relationship. We just go on dates. He doesn't need to know my personal business. It's not necessary. He doesn't need to know my, my STD status. We're not sleeping together. So that's how I look at it. That's I, just my opinion. So, but in yeah, conclusion, I, you saying that the, the person has a right to know at a setting time. Yes, a setting when you, point. yes. Because you should tell the person yourself. The person shouldn't ask because it's going to be very weird to ask. The, it yeah. would make sense to I ask. I mean, if he asks, I can ask. Because he might him. notice if he some asks. strange signs. Maybe you have a masculine hand, you know. If he asks, like I wouldn't lie. I just think that, I just hand? think that. You carry blocks all day? You, once you, if you can <laughs> kind of tell when someone like really likes you. Mm -hmm. I feel like, okay, maybe first date, maybe you feel like, oh my gosh, like this is too soon. Second date, please don't wait till the third date. Because the third date, I went out with you twice. I want to see you again. You can't wait till the third date to spring. This is this. That's a big thing. You know what you're saying? You're saying the third date we're in a relationship. That's I'm how not I saying we're in a relationship. I, I just, I just, I just, but, but I just okay. want to make you my know? point real quick with okay. an example. There was okay. a white man that was dating this black black woman. They've been dating for years and they end up getting married. Later on, the um the white man found out that the guy the girl has been wearing weaves for years. He got mad. Why didn't you tell me on the first day that this is not your real hair? There are some situations that you 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 thinking that before you called me, you know what it is. Charlie, like you don't need to explain. Like Hold on, that is, is the same the thing. Same level, it is it Charlie, is the same thing. That's not on the same for level. you to I'm for you to sorry. walk for you to walk by a black girl and be like, is this your hair? It's a little offensive to them. It's the same thing. Are you gonna walk into like a, a woman and be like, are you a man or a woman? No, like, tell no, me. That's what I'm saying. That's why she should tell me. I, she don't need to tell you, Jack. 
You she don't, she's living her life. Let's you don't, she don't need to that. So we are going to agree to disagree, but we also want to hear from the audience and the viewers out there. If you're watching, let us know in the comments how you feel. This is really heated. My heart is beating. But you're watching me on TV. <laughs> this is African Block Say. Hit subscribe. <laughs> don't play yourself. Comment, yourself. share. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.